Yeah. 
lift your voice and say, rain on high, rain on high, you rain on high, come on somebody say, you rain on high, come on say rain on high, rain on high, put your hands lifted up tonight, come on say rain on high, rain on high. circumstances that seem to overwhelm us you reign over sicknesses and maladies you are higher you are greater you are bigger than any other name that we know Come on, lift up your voice and exalt it. Lift up your voice and exalt it. Lift your voice and exalt it. Worship begins when the song stops. Your worship begins when the song stops. Let it come from within you. Exalt the Lord. Lift him higher. Let God hear your voice. You can keep silent in his presence. Yeah. 
Send down, hear our cry today, meet every need in this place. Oh Lord, once again, shake the world and let the wealth of the wicked now be the property of your sons. We thank you for today. There will be rejoicing. There will be joy because you shall appear among your people. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is good. He is always good. Hallelujah. I believe that tonight it's a special night prepared for you. And if you open up today, I believe that you will never live here the same. Your God is about to meet you at the point of your need. I'll take the scripture or we'll also be praying. And we'll be praying for people today. And our scripture is in Zechariah chapter 9 from verse 10 to 12 and 13. Let me even read from the 9 and I think that rejoice greatly, O daughter of Zion. Shout, daughter of Jerusalem, see your king comes to you, righteous and having salvation. We thank God for that. Gentle and riding on the donkey, on a colt, the fall of a donkey. The verse 10. I will take away the chariot from Ephraim and the war horses from Jerusalem and the battle bow with broken and the battle bow be broken he will proclaim peace to the nations his rule will extend from sea to where and from the river to the end of the earth listen to the next verse that's where my Ask for you. Tell somebody, ask for you. Tell the next person, ask for you. Because of the blood of my covenant with you, I will free your prisoners from the waterless pit. Tell somebody, ask for you. God is about to do something for you. See, the most important thing is to have a covenant with God. See, 
covenant is very, very important. That is why when you become born, born again, you sign a covenant. God signed a covenant, and the covenant is that you are his son, and, the, the, and he is your father. Marriage is a covenant. How many know that? The moment you agree to marry any man, huh? whether poor or rich, the moment you finish the agreement and you sign the covenant, you become one. In Ghana that day, if you were living with your parent, your sleeping place will change. Or oh. some of you, some people they live and they're happy because where they are going is better. Some when they are living, they are sad. But where they are living to the next place is not the best. You pull your bag, some of your box, and they make you bye bye. Your family, which you used to live with every day, you may see them once a week, once a month, once a year. But the man you sign a covenant with every day, whether you want to see his face or not, you see his face. Oh? The reason is because he signed a covenant with you. Somebody was marrying a young man. And when he married, I told the wife, now that you've married that man, he had Dinisika. He signed a covenant that Nisika Obenyano wouldn't be yeah, you see, yeah, yeah, somebody's making <laughs> The moment you sign the covenant, there are deeds of the covenant. There are ways that are in the covenant. And if you're in Africa and you live in a certain community and the rules of marriage is you the woman to cook, you can have your PhD. After your PhD, you come home. The covenant says that. Cook. Oh. When one is in trouble, and because of the covenant, the other one have no choice but to go and help him. There were many people that entered into covenant, some with God, some with men. I remember one of them in the Bible, when Israel entered into the, the promised land, and they heard Jericho was thrown away, and God was doing mighty works. This tribe behaved as if they were coming from far away country. They dressed shabbily and they came to Israel. The Jews said, Please, we want to sign a covenant with you. But when we have war, you will help us. We will carry your water for you, we will cut firewood for you. And the way they looked at them, and they went to Joshua to the camp of Gilgal and said to him and to the men of Israel, We have come from a far country now therefore make a covenant with us and they went uh, continue, continue continue look at the then the man of Israel said to the Hivite perhaps you dwell among us so how can we make a covenant with you but they said to Joshua we are your servant and Joshua said to them who are you and where do you come from Listen. So they said to him, 
from a very far country, your servant have come because of the name of the Lord your God. For we have heard of his fame and all that he did in Egypt. And all that he did to the two kings of the Amorite who were beyond the Jordan, to Sihon, king of Hezbon, and Og, king of Bashan, who was at Astaroth. Continually. Therefore, our elders and all the inhabitants of our country spoke to us, saying, Take provision with you for the journey and go to meet them and say to them, We are your servant. Now, therefore, make a covenant with us. They have a reason why they are making a covenant. You find, you see the reason very soon. This bread of ours, we took hot for our provision based on lie. Some people, some men can lie and come and marry you. Go and borrow somebody's car. Borrow somebody's shoe. Borrow somebody's dress. Somebody watch. And come and visit you in the house. You think this guy is rich. Oh boy. Somebody have traveled and said, take care of my house for me. And he takes you there. This is my house. Then you two, you fall in love. She manyakunu. Most of us have signed covenant without looking into it well. Don't just agree, just look at this on the surface and sign a covenant. Have I digressed? Let me finish the, my lesson. And those wineskins, who do we, we feel if you and see, they are torn and this is our garment and our sandals have become old and because of the very long journey. Continue, let's finish. Then the men of Israel took some of the, their provision, but they did not ask counsel of the Lord. Sometimes we enter even into business agreement without asking counsel from the Lord. We marry some man, a woman, take friends without asking counsel from God. I see where it landed you. You say, hindsight. You know, hindsight never sight. There are two sides. So many sides. We have hindsight. When you look back, it helps to chart your path forward. We have foresight. We have insight. Three kind of sight. Hindsight. Insight for now. Foresight for tomorrow. Okay. Let me continue. So Joshua made peace with them and made a covenant with them to let them live. And the rulers of the congregation swore to them this is a covenant. And it happened at the end of three days after they had made a covenant with them that they heard that they were their neighbors who dwelt near them. The people that were going to fight this process take the land which God has given to them that God has sent these people, they've signed a covenant. The devil has become your father-in-law. How do you sack him? Walk of fat upon Samba. I bet no fear. Obey it then. I pam upon Sam. I was suffer. Because of the covenant, they could not fight them again. Some people had an attack this man, and Israel had to gather their forces. To fight and defend them. It's not that they are brothers. They just came and met them there. But their battle became Israel battle. When you enter into a covenant with God. 
your warfare becomes God warfare. Now it came to pass when Adon Zedda, king of Jerusalem, heard how Joshua had taken a, a eye and utterly destroyed it, as he had done to Jericho and it king, so he had done to I king and how the inhabitants of Gibeon had made peace with Israel and were among them. So he said that they feared greatly because Gibeon was a great city, like one of the royal cities. And because, of, because it was greater than I, and all its men were mighty. Therefore, Adoni, Zedek, king of Jerusalem, sent to Hoham, king of Hebron, Piram, king of and all this, and this, all of them. They came up to me and helped me that we may attack who? Who is Gibeon? Who is Gibeon? The one who went and signed contract or entered into a covenant with Israel, they attack him. Some of you became a Christian and said, hey, you become a Christian today. Remember more bread. They won't go and attack Jesus. Who? It's you they would attack. So, they never went to Israel. They said, look, you have become one of the people. We will attack you. And look at what? And when they attack, look at what happened. Oh, look at it. Therefore, the five kings, how many? Five kings of the Amorite, the king of Jerusalem, king of Hebron, king of Jamaf, the king of Lachis, and the king of Eglon, gathered together, went up, they and all their armies and come before Gibeon and made war against it. Look at it. Thank God for this. And the men of Gibeon sent to Joshua and they come at Gilgal saying, do not forsake your servant. We've ended a covenant with you. Don't forget that we have signed a covenant <laughs> that our battle is our battle. Today, saying, do not forsake your servant Come up quickly. Save us and help us. For all the kings of Amorite who dwell in the mountain have gathered together against us. Joshua cannot say no. They have entered a covenant. When you enter into a covenant with somebody and the enemy attack the person, it is you they have attacked. So countries Enter into, uh, how do you call them? Alliance or what do you call them? Huh? Some treaty and alliance that if you attack me, Ghana, I'm not, uh, if you attack me, America, we are entering into alliance with you. America, if you have war, Ghana has war. If we have war, you have war. If anybody knows that we have entered into that agreement with America, and he thinks he's coming to fight Ghana. He should be ready to fight Ghana and America together. The same way, if you enter into a covenant with God, and somebody attack you, he's attacking you and God together. That is why God will always go and save his covenanted men it's not that Israel was so special, but because God had a covenant with their father Abraham, when Abraham went to any place, he gets to any place, God backed Abraham. And God swore by himself that as long as I live, Abraham, this is what I will do. Anybody who attacks you will attack me. To the extent that when some, a king stronger than Abraham wanted to take his wife, God told him, you are but a dead man. It's like taking God's own wife. Well, if you take somebody I've entered into covenant with, it's like you are taking my wife. And if somebody's taking my wife, what will I do? If I had that power, I will crush you. God said, 
king. You are but a dead man. But God came to Abimelech in a dream by night and said to him, Indeed you are what? A dead man because of the woman whom you have taken. For she is what? Who? A man's wife. And look at how Abimelech did. Abimelech started shaking. But Abimelech had not come near her. And he said, Lord, will you slay a righteous nation also? Did he not say to me, she is my sister? Even though Abraham says she's my sister, God says, I know that's the wife. A covenanted people work together, fight together. So entering into a covenant with God is very, very important. Receiving Jesus into your heart as your Lord and personal Savior, you've entered into a covenant. The blood of Jesus Christ is the one that sealed it. And anytime he sees that blood, he becomes angry when the devil wants to torment you and torture you. So here are Israel, the scripture I'm reading. Israel was taken, uh, Judah was taken, in, they were taken into, into, into captivity, into slavery. Oh, let me finish. Let's read that. Not the Joshua. Go back to my original. This one, I just, Papa. I hope I bless you with this one too. Good. Because of my covenant. No. Zachariah. Zachariah. As for you, tell somebody, as for you. As for you. Because of what? The blood of my covenant with you. I will free your prisoners from the waterless pit. The blood covenant was the one that broke the back of Pharaoh. Pharaoh was resistant. He had the magicians and they trained them. They have a school of magicians. Sorcerers, we had it, and what? Huh? Huh? Wizards, the, the lowest rank. <laughs> the wizards and the witches, they're the lowest rank. They teach them. And it's not only nabu nabu. They turn their spirit inside. When Moses turned his rod, he put his rod down and it turned into the snake. They also came and did their enchantment and put their rod. And those rod also turned into what? Snakes. They have many snakes against one snake. But the snake of God will always swallow. Yeah. If you are in trouble, remember that God has a covenant with you. Because of the blood, because of the blood, you know if you are in a covenant with God, Nothing can destroy you. From Noah had a covenant with God. When the well was being destroyed by water, Noah could not be destroyed because a covenanted person will always save you. He will not disgrace you. 
he will bring you out of the pit no matter where you are you can be so deep in life and you can you are helpless you cannot come out tonight is a night for you because you've entered into a covenant with god the witches are going to run away the wizards are going to vanish tonight is your night i love that scripture Oh, put that scripture, Zachariah. Zechariah. These people were in slavery. Oh, I love it. As for you, because of the blood of your covenant, I will set your prisoner, what? Free from what? From the waterless pit. I love this. And I love this scripture. What does prisoner oh, I love it. As verse 12, let's go to verse 12. I'll come back to that. Return to what? Return to where? So there is a return. Return to the stronghold. You what? Prisoners of what? Hope. Even today, I declare that I will restore double to you. <laughs> to come out of the pit, the first thing we must do is to return. Tell someone, return. If you used to pray, return to your prayers. When you got born again, your zeal returned. Return to your holiness. Return to the life and the love that you should have for God. Return. 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 Oh, I love it. I love it. Ah, we'll read most of uh, King James. This is King James. Oh, I love this King James. He said, return to who? To who? Your fortress. Ha. Who is your fortress? The Lord is your fortress. He is our shield. He is our protector. Look, when it looks like you are in prison, come back to that God. He will protect you. He will hold you. He will keep you. I love, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Return to. I love that area. Return to your fortress. You prisoners of what? Prisoners of who? Hope. I love that one too. Prisoners of hope. Prisoners of what? Don't let anyone or anything name you or put a certain name on you that you are doomed. Prisoners of hope are the people who put their faith in God. That despite whatever is happening, God's word must rule. Sometimes you must enter into a place and the devil has caught you as if there is no way out. What have God said? Joseph was a prisoner of hope. He, was, he had a dream. He was trying to pursue his dream. But he, his brothers caught him, put him into the pit. But he still knew that the pit is not my end. God has spoken about me. It's not my brother that should define me. I am a ruler. I am a king. I am not a pit man. He still had that hope. 
prisoners of hope. It doesn't mean that you will not get into the hole. You will be into the hole, but the hole is not your end. Sometimes Satan tries to push us into some corner for us to think, this God, is he around? Don't be in prison by the label people put on you. Let God where define you. If sometimes God says you are more than a conqueror, do you know that the time you say you are more than a conqueror, you are down? If you are already up, he doesn't need to say you are more than a conqueror. Let the weak say, I am strong. Don't let the weakness define you and give you a name of Mr. Weakness. What is written about you, who seems you are weak, is that you are strong. You may not feel a strength in you, but there is strength in God. Your strength is the Lord. Those who are fighting against you in life, God is your fortress. He will come on your path today and bring help to you. The devil is a tricky person. Ha! Prisoners of hope. God says you are the apple of what? What does it mean? You know what an apple of an, somebody's eye is? All of you will try to protect that. Sometimes, if my hand is going there, unconsciously, what happened? Huh? You're close, you're protected with your eyelid, isn't it? Unless you are sick. Unless the nerves there are weak, and they can't close. But if they're really working normally, it will close or you want to protect it. You are the apple of God's eye. Very sensitive to him. Then the devil says, you are useless. Ah! Have you ever seen a man say that his eyes is useless? Ha! Ah. Back to that place. Return to your fortress, your prisoners of hope. Even now, I've announced that I will restore twice as much to you. Israel had experienced a bitter defeat at the hand of Babylonians. They are the mercy of their captors. Sometimes you fall in the situation and you don't have power, especially when they went there captured you, brought you back with your God looking at you. Where was that God when the people came there? Now they have captured you. How do you feel you can get yourself free? If that God could free you, why didn't he free you from the beginning? Sometimes you enter into some situation there, you ask yourself, if God is there, why did I get into this? Yes, God is there. It never, it has never reduced the power of God. His power is still the same. The same to save. He has power to save. There's a song we used to sing. My love is a miracle. A miracle. 
He will do it again. Uh, can you sing that song? Oh, let's take let's take that song. This New Testament people they don't know how to sing it. <laughs> Old Testament. He would do he would do it again. He would do it again. This is 1960s song. So, and this was they are less than 40 years. Amen. So I understand you. God will do it again. If he's done it before, he can do that miracle again. It doesn't matter how deep you have fallen god has the power his hand is not short he will bring you out i was talking to you about joseph he was caught by his brothers he had a good dream and he looked like he lost the dream he hasn't lost it God found a way of bringing him out. But was sold as a slave. Went into prison. Lost in the prison. Asked men to remember him. And men forgot about him. But God who promised. Brought him out. Lifted him place him on a higher and more influential seat than his father's one. When God speaks, nothing can stop it. Tonight, I know so many of us have been struggling. You've been trying everything to make life. You are not a lazy woman. You are not a lazy man. But something fights against your progress in life. Tonight, it should be broken. Return. Turn to God. The, the, your deliverer, he will set you free. How do we do it? We're going to turn things. The daughters of Zelophehad. Oh, come there. There was a gentleman whose mother gave birth to him. And they named him a certain name. Ja. Huh? What does it mean? Somebody has given birth and they call him pain. He's not a British. It's British who gives pain. Great. Listen. But in those days, when they name you at a sorry, mean that you carry that thing. That name follows you everywhere you go. And this guy has struggled in life. His brothers were progressing. His brothers were making it. He was failing everything he attempted. Failed. He became like a useless man. When they go to a family meeting, he can't talk. And you know, when you don't have money, and you go, they sit in the family meeting, you may have the best sense. It's nonsense. He was not respected by anyone. Everywhere he went, he carried pain. He produced pain. He saw pain. He felt pain. Nothing seems to work for him. He's trying all his best as if somebody has cursed him not to make it. If you are here like that, today, 
I came because of you. He was trying to accept it. At the point you accept that, that's my feet. That is not your feet. Then it dawned on him to return. And he returned to God in prayer. He, this scripture kicked me a certain way. Return and he returned to his strong tower. And he went to him and said, God, today I've come back to you. You brought me to this well. Look at how I am suffering. Everybody is making it. Everywhere I went, nothing seems to work for me. Today, oh Lord, today have mercy on me. I am coming to you. The Bible, and he listed what he wanted to be. He said, God, I don't want to be called Mr. Dishonor. And Jabesh called on God of Israel. Oh, that you will bless me. Lord, there's one thing I need. I will bless you. Bless me. And I will talk about that. Whenever, there are two things I'm going to talk about in that scripture. One, God deliverance. Two, God blessing for double. He said, God, bless me. Tell somebody, God, bless me. The Bible said, the blessing of the Lord maketh a man rich. Don't ask for riches. Ask for blessing. In the package of blessing is divine health. It's money. It's dollars. It's visa. It's husband. It's wife. It's house. Anything. Don't ask for money. You can have money, but you can't buy health. So today, I should pray. Pray for money. For, for what? Blessing. Blessing. Say, God, bless me. Once you bless me, certain things will happen in my life. Look at what happened. Oh, Lord, bless me indeed. Once I'm blessed, my territory will what? Enlarge. That your hand will be with me. Anyone God blesses, God's hand is on him. If God's hand is against you, it's not a blessing. If God fight against you, is it a blessing? Blessing makes bring God on your side to fight for you. Makes you enter into a covenant with God. So God bless me. And this is what I want to do. This blessing must carry this. One, let me, oh my God. Say, enlarge my territory. I have been held in this life. People have taken everything that belongs to me. My liberty has been taken away from me. Everything I do does not work. And Lord, give me more room to operate. Don't let me remain in my small corner. Let me move beyond that corner so that I can influence more people. I hope I'm not boring you. And like my territory, taken. Huh? That your hand will be with me. Your presence should be with me. The hand of God with you is great. You know, when Elijah prayed, and he prayed, and prayed that there should be rain, and he prayed how many times? Seven times. And after he prayed, he supposed now, and now the rain, the thing had become very dark and wanted to rain. And what he needed is, he needed speed to get to where he ought to be. You know, this life, when things delay in your life, what you know, time cannot be stopped. But you can get speed to beat time. Somebody said, time is gone. Yes, time is gone. But when there is speed, you can go beyond the time which is lost. The lost time can be recovered through speed. 
Oh, you're getting me. You're not, you're not getting me. Maybe you married. You say, oh God, I want to do I want four children. One year, nothing. Two years, nothing. Ten years now, you are almost 40 years. Uh, 41, 42, no child. When can I give birth the first, the second, the third? Then when you get pregnant before you realize, cool, four at a time. It's called speed. It is speed. Just at one. What people take eight years to give birth, you take one year, nine months to give birth to that. That is what I call speed. I hope you're getting me. Maybe you haven't started, you've started business, you start this, it will collapse, you start it's not working, you start it's not working, and time, you know, sometimes what is our problem is age. While you are, <laughs> things are failing for you, <laughs> age is coming, catching up. But speak. While he was praying, time was going. Time was going. Time was going. Seven times. Time had gone. You know, he said, I hear abundance of what? Rain. Even he should have started going to where he was going. But he used that time in praying. And time was passing. Look, when you wait on God, it's not a waste of time. After the seventh time, God intentionally delayed him. And when he saw it was coming, he said, King, now run to Israel because the train is going to catch you. And I must also go and do not happen what Jabesh prayed. He prayed for it. The hand of the Lord came upon him. Jabesh said, God, I want your hand upon me. When your hand is upon me, whatever I couldn't do, and people have the time I have wasted, it will all be recovered. And God's hand is going to touch you. Look at it. And that you will keep me from what? And that what? You will keep me from evil. God can deliver. He said, you know, one of the lost prayer. Say what? Huh? So we can fall into evil. But God has the ability to deliver us from that evil. No matter what evil have happened to you, tonight God has that ability to take you out from that evil and make a great name out of you. Deliver me from evil that I may cause not that I may not cause pain. So God granted him what he requested. God did what? What what? Today you will bring your request before God. And God will grant you what you request. Okay. Then he became what? Oh. Is that all? He was then more honorable than all. Now, Jabesh was what? Somebody nobody respected. Now he's now become your excellency. People that, that passed him by and never looked at him once or twice. Now, you are the one they want to Called to come and be there to chair every meeting. Fair 
says, when you even go to a meeting, they don't give you a seat to sit. Now, you are the one that have the high table. God is going to change your destiny tonight. God is going to change your world. Tell somebody is going to change your destiny tonight. <laughs> Zachariah. I say, hey, I don't know, you are open. Zachariah. Why do you like Zachariah like that? Israel experienced a bitter defeat at the hands of the Babylonians. As I said, they are the mercy of the captives who have defiled their temple and mocked their God. But God reminded them that don't let them change your faith in me. Sometimes as if they have captured you, unbelievers are mocking at you. They are, where is your God? Sorry. Every day you go to church and pray and pray. We don't see anything in your life. We who don't go to church, we have husband, wife, we build houses. You are renting. Sometimes we look like a mockery. But don't be afraid. Sometimes we are, we are afraid for God. Don't worry. It, you've entered into a covenant with God. Anybody who mocks you is mocking God. So I want to fight God's battle for you. Things are going to turn. Things are going to change. Where is your God? So unbelievers will just ask you, where you baby, I said I will go for so many hours. As if you are hopeless in life. Why did this thing happen to you if you say you are a Christian? Having to, if nobody have asked you, having to, your mind asks you. Huh? Then you feel like ah, those who are sinning, they are becoming rich. They are being promoted. They are having good position. They are passing their exams. You who want to do clear way and not steal, you are failing. You want to do things, fringing, you are losing your job. Am I? And sometimes you feel like the psalmist in Psalm 73. Is 73? That I almost backslided. When I looked at her, but I for me, my feet had almost stumbled. My step had nearly slipped. She said, Inka, may backslide it. Why? For I was envious of what? The boastful. When I saw the prosperity of the wicked. When I saw the prosperity of what? The wicked. Sometimes painful. To live a life to please God. And you don't see any fruit in your Christian life. And those who are walking by heart. Seems to have been making it. Those ones, they are not making it. Look at what, I love this guy. For there are no pangs in their death, but their strength is firm. Would they be all your old down? Because we need to be the hospital. They are not in trouble as other men. You can't pray. You do this. Those who don't pray, they are not in trouble like you. No, I they plague like other men. This is what almost made him backslide. Therefore, as I not pride, 
serves as their necklace. Umoma, umoma, so kuntai. Jo bombo. Pride and pomposity. Violence covers them like a garment. They don't care destroying your business. They don't care destroying you because they have what it takes to enter any place. And God is sitting down on his throne waiting, watching us and watching them as if we are helpless. This man almost backslided and said, Ah! Vasobin on Yamasumo. Don't backslide. There's better things coming for you. Amen. And look at what happened. Oh. Masama Tinti. When I thought how to understand this, it was too painful for me. Oh, person down now. You want to understand why these things are happening like that. It's very painful painful after doing all this but where do you get understanding until i left this place until i went into the sanctuary of god until god said return until i came to god then i understood their end see god always look at the end it's not the middle it's not the beginning. He look at how you are going to end. You shall end well. Amen. Your end shall be better. Amen. When you begin to see your end and your end, you become very happy. You see yourself that these ones, they will last. Me, I will last. Then you know that my end will be great at the end. Amen. Joseph did not look at what was happening to him in the pit, in Potiphar's house, in the prison. He looked at his end. The end of Joseph and his brothers. His brothers might be free at that time walking. He might be in prison. But he knew that his end will be great. Potiphar's wife might be free in that sense, but Joseph knew that, look, I'm in prison. One day, Potiphar, my master and the wife, they will come and salute me because I am the man in charge. Potiphar saluted. Sometimes saluting, somebody don't want to salute, your hand becomes heavy, but it must, it must go up. somebody, I will, I will end well. You don't believe that? Our problem in life is the end. Most of our worries and our anxiety is the end. How are we going to end? If you are sick, your anxiety is not the sickness. Your anxiety is what the sickness will be at the end. Your end will be great. He said, when I looked at my end and I looked at their end, I saw that I didn't have to envy them. Ah! The rich man who is going to employ him one day? He's sitting in. Then Kakura. You see the man, the bot, Toyota what? Corona. Then you are envious. Because even bicycle you can't buy now. And you start envying the person. When you see that you are cursing them, don't curse them. One day, before you realize, 
What is the latest car? Oh, here she want to name Casa. Don't worry, don't worry. If I touch and I say, I don't want to even think about them so that I can get depressed. The letters. You get them, you pack them. One, two, three. They are the co jum. They are the co market. They are the co the Germany market, you know. The one that is used for meetings, your church one, your Edison, and your, oh, then your house. Get your house at the great place. When people are coming, they have to get your address first. And they have to ask them questions. Who are you going to see? They say, this one, this one, this one. They say, wait, they call. This one want to see, can you come? You pa. You're traveling first class. First zongukra. Unya. Struggling for zongo. I remember I went to Nigeria some day ago, some time ago. Nigeria. I went and preached, man of God, my Vienna member, dropped me at the airport. I got my ticket, everything, my pass, my boarding pass. They announced that the, uh, the plane have arrived. Ghana man, me to me gali. I saw people rushing and running. I said, oh, why? You got your pass. Why do you? When I went, the, place, the plane was full. <laughs> My pass, my seat, no matter, but the plane was full. I went back home. I went back to the nearest hotel and slept there. The next day, I went there. The they mentioned. I understood the game. <laughs> I really understood the game. That it doesn't matter whether you have bought in pass. <laughs> it's the one that gets there first. God, it's not like that. One day you won't be running for listen, you have your own plane. Then you walk there. Anytime you want. You are nobody. Nobody will you won't run. Will you be unprayed? Tama upesi utunu wetu. Plain timi ngonjao. Don't rush. Today I may be running. Tomorrow I may be having my own. I'm walking into it. Which I don't desire to have a, 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 a plane by myself. Odi chen me kura me mpe. Me ni airport me ni Somebody, oh prophet, I will get you a plane. I said, Me. He said, It's not something I desire. Would the mammy cry? Obey Hammy. Is God said, I'm going to end. Go back to my scripture. Return to the stronghold. 
you prisoner of war, prisoners of war, hope. Even today, I declare that I will restore double to you. It doesn't matter how long that the enemy have held your breakthrough, your future, your husband, your money, your promotion, your children. God is saying it's not only going to give you, you're going to get double. Amen. He is going to pay interest on top. And as we cry to him, as we call to him tonight, God is going to touch and turn people double, 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 double. I say what? Tell someone double, double. I love it. The NIV says what? The NIV says, ah, I will restore twice as much to you. And we read, or is it not so? Return to your fortress, your presence of hope. Even now, I announce, ah, God is announcing that I will restore what? Twice as what? How many? Oh, God is a good God. I King James Version, uh, let's take the King James Version. Ten, what? You to the stronghold, ye prisoners of hope. Even today, do I declare that I will render what? On to thee, double unto thee. So they are all talking about double. New Living Translation. You know, some of you, you like that one. That one is great. He, I like the New Living Translation. I will repay you two blessings. Ah, come back to this place of what? Tell somebody, come back to the place of safety. This is the place of safety. A place of covenant. God's covenanted blood was the one that kept Israel from dying and because there was no covenant Egyptian firstborn died come back into the place of what safety all you what prisoners who still have what hope ha ah, I promise this very day that what I will repay what what Two blessings for what? Each. Each. So if Satan bring ten troubles, today is payday. Is it not sweet? God is the one saying, I will do what? I will repay two blessings for what? Each of your what? So the more your troubles, the double your blessing. So tell the devil, you thought you've done something. But God will repay for every trouble that you brought on us. If you brought tears, your laughter will be doubled. Today, I love this God. That covenant God the covenant is always faithful. He's going to do something. You, look, God is real. I said God is what? Yeah. 
Sunday, last Sunday, was it Sunday? People with knees. Somebody was here called the mother who had a knee and couldn't walk and was at home. He said, Mommy. They are praying. Start. Take part of it. Immediately the woman jumped up. Yeah. Jennifer is your mother here or she's at home? Till today, what put her down who she couldn't walk up her life? Yeah. Whatever problem you have, there's going to be a double. But how do we receive this double? The prisoners of hope is not somebody. Our hope is based on what God has promised us. Abraham, Sarah, prisoners of hope. No children. They won't have been in prison. Everything seems to have gone. Time was not on their side. Their age was not on their side. They have been in prison in their bodies. The devil is telling them, you Sarah and says, Sarah, you are too old to give birth to a child. So give your maid to your husband. But God went came. And God said, Abraham, my word, I will always keep my word. Come out. When Abraham, God said, I am going to bless you, Abraham. Abraham said, oh God, what kind of blessing at this age? It's just like somebody who is 90 years. I said, I'm going to give you a brand new uh, house. Somebody 100 years, I'll be who? I'll be manafina. What na ayi single musa bresa na kofa trasa kusa fe na odin be man no ade ungu wu mu ana said no god Abraham time seem to have imprisoned them because the the age in which they are look like they, everything has been locked now. Not, it's impossible for them to go out and give birth. God said, he said, God, seeing that, and Abraham fell on his face and laughed and said to himself, will a son be born to a man 100 years old? Will Sarah bear a child at the age of 90? Prison! A child has been in prison. Lord, where I am, can I run out? Can I walk? Can I do this? Today, come out of that. And God said, Abraham, come out. He came out. And God said, yes. But your wife, Sarah, will bear you a son. And you will call him Isaac. I will establish my covenant. Did you hear that? I will establish my covenant with him as an everlasting covenant for his descendant after him. No matter that somebody also wanted to take his wife. Like the father. It is family. I did do much here so. Like father, like son. See, the same situation. But God rescued them. God will rescue you. He said, come and follow. And Abraham says, Abraham, come out of your tent. He came out of the tent. He said, count the stars. 
He started counting, 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 saying, you come. He said, this is how your children will be. This is how you're going to be blessed. Look, Ube Kensi can dollars na Okaya and so Okaya, Kaya, Kaya, and Sanda. Tonight, for God, don't be imprisoned in your mind. He said, Abraham, come out. Go where you are, you can see it. Now count. He started counting. He said, this is how your children will be. He took him out. He took him from that prison time place. I said, come out. Come out. He said, look where? Look up. Today I want you to look up. Because help is coming from above. Amen. The psalmist says that I will lift up my eyes onto the hills. Because that is where my help come from. He said, Abraham, you were looking into the tent. You were looking at your body. You were looking at Sarah's womb. You were looking at other things. But now I want you to stop looking at those things and look at me. You might have tried your best today. Yes, of all, you don't know. Me, my case it's not like it's not the Abraham case. Abraham I dreamed that Nembre Look, he's the same yesterday, the same today, and it will be the same forever. Amen. You're going to call upon God. You're going to break those yoke. You're going to come out of your prison. You're going to take a double for every problem. Did you hear what I said? Yes. Huh? So now look at the problem you've gone through. If you don't have one. Do you have some? If you don't have, I'll give you mine. God is going to repay you. Reward you. Whatever the devil tried on your life, you're going to get a double blessing for it. We're going to cry to him. We're going to pray. And something is going to happen. You know, it happened. Blessings, protection. God said, he is going to protect us. He always says he's going to bless us. In fact, if they ask you for anything, ask for blessing and protection. Asan. It is that made Job great. Satan himself knows that when you are blessed and you are protected, you become a millionaire. He can't stop you. And today is going to happen. Amen. Many wombs shall be open. Amen. Many shall have direction. Amen. The spirit of the Lord shall come upon many. Amen. And you shall be like a giant. Amen. I see some people as if they were coming up like a small tree and a tender tree and it become a very big and huge tree. And many were coming under to see it of the fruit. Miracles will also happen. Yes, they might have diagnosed you with a disease. And that disease might have imprisoned your mind awaiting to die. I am telling you today we have a God which we've entered into a covenant with who gives life and he is the one who gives life. Look, Abraham knew him as the God who calleth things which be not as though they were. If it's not even existent, God calls it into being. He giveth life to what? 
raised the dead. God's speciality. It's not I. It's not surgeon. It's not internal medicine. It's not his speciality. It's bringing dead things to life. Today, your life might have been crushed. God is going to bring that crushed life back to use it. Tonight, some disease might be eating your body. But tonight, the God which you signed the covenant with is going to happen. As I'm talking, a miracle is going to happen to someone. Now, something great is going to happen. Shall we then pray? I want us to stand up. I want us to stand up. I want you to call upon God. Call upon God like Abraham. Call upon him like Jabesh. Call upon him like David. Call upon him. Cry upon him. That is when God is going to act. God wants to act on our behalf. He wants to act on behalf of his people. God wants to act and he wants to do some great work. Tonight, God is going to do something great. And I want you to pray. And I'll be praying for some people. And if possible, Pata Pradish Shiba. I want you to pray the time and the season. Pray that the word of the Lord will come upon you today. That God will speak to you and speak to your heart. Pray that the Holy Spirit will rest upon your life. Pray that the wisdom of God and the perfect will of God will be revealed to you even tonight. Pray that if there's anything, any problems in your life, there shall be forgiveness in your life. Pray that if you are worried, God won't give you a double portion for what causes that worry. God will redeem you and bring you. Pray that you will walk in the power of God and the miracles. Pray that miracles will happen in your life. Pray that God the life God will grant the divine favor. Pray for today is a day of divine time. Oh Lord, we bring your people before you. We pray, oh God, and ask you for your divine intervention. We prisoners, we shall come out. Nothing shall keep us in that condition many shall be saved many shall be delivered many shall come out lord salvation shall come healing shall come victory shall be their portion lord their whole life will be preserved oh lord we pray today remember us Remember your servant. Remember your handmaid. Lord, we cry to you. Answer us. Answer us. Answer your people. Oh Lord, come down now. Lord, descend among us. Oh Lord, come down. Oh Lord, come down. Oh Lord, you are the rock. Micaiah, I love you and we love you, O oh Lord. Our strength. Oh, the Lord is our rock, our fortress, our deliverer. Oh Lord, preserve and protect your people. Oh Lord, deliver each and every one from that prison and set them on high level in whom we take refuge. We run to you to take refuge. Lord, preserve us and keep us. You are our shield and our horn of salvation. Oh Lord, our stronghold, we hold on to you. 
we run to the stronghold we run to you O oh god keep us and preserve us we call upon your lord your name now you are worthy of praise lord we are safe from our enemies when we come to you may you preserve us lord the cause of death and tangle around many shall be released the torrent of destruction overwhelm many but they will be saved today oh lord the cause of the grave that coil around men lord will be broken and will be set free the snare of death that confront many lord they shall be taken out of that prison in the name of jesus and their distress they call upon you they cry to you oh god for help we cry to you god oh for help from this temple lord and you will hear our voice and give us double for every trouble in the name of jesus we cry our cry came from you Lama and we cry into your ears listen to us hear us hear us hear us the earth tremble the earth tremble and quake and the foundation of the mountain shall shake lord the time is now leperanda they tremble because you are you are angry with them because a call upon you and you rose up upon our life lord we pray pray that the spirit will come upon you pray that the wisdom wisdom and the perfect of will of god will be upon your life pray today masai saprosina you will not miss Jesus thank you Jesus I see chains being broken the Lord shall arise and shake the heavens and shake the earth for your sake for you shall be called blessed and blessed among all men for the Lord shall shake himself and the grace of the Lord shall be upon you tonight he shall send a spirit upon you he will I see people destiny changing. I see some oil falling upon people. I see people walking in miracles and in power. I sense things dropping off from people. I sense people being raised from a pit and placed upon the hill you who is hidden by many things will be raised and be lifted up for the time and your season is now oh your demon fool he will do it he will speak for you he will god is on your side he has promised us he 
will he will he will honor his promise yes prisoners I hold in place and something whatever you try nothing seems to work I said there's an unseen hand barring you from achieving what you ought to achieve no matter how hard you try no matter who comes to help you sometimes you take money you put it in the business and it vanish tonight tonight come out from that condition you try things they're not working you yourself don't understand yourself why you are doing everything putting every effort in that thing and it's not working there's a spirit tile and one two three four five god is going to execute the judgment upon that and set you free In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Forces of darkness. Spiritual wickedness. Principalities and powers. That are holding this ones. Take them off. Daddy. This man. Where is your son? Come here. Oh, yes, you are a friend. Now I say, 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 now I say,
gentleman do you know you are a son of promise do you know there's a promise upon your life the battle that you are going through what you ought where you ought to be is not where you are now you shall complete what you started those things holding you and keeping you you yourself sometimes you're asking you don't understand yourself where's your father a stronghold keeping you and what will take control over your life you will be set free today do you want to be set free you want to be set free very easy I will anoint you you'll be my friend you want me to be your friend of hope like Joseph no matter how deep you have gone today around hold the person melted tonight 
just about three minutes, I saw the thing happening in a very cool way. And some of them will feel as if there's freedom. And you'll feel as if something was broken out of your life. Just walk forward here. If it touch you, you feel like it's broken, just walk forward. Within three minutes, this is what I saw. I and it shall come to pass. Just go forward there. As if some load had been taken off from you. Some freedom. Some change. As if there is some lightness, there's the heaviness in your heart have take, been taken away. Some load and burden have been taken off. As it touched them, that's how they felt. They felt very light in them. When you feel that, just go forward there. I don't know how many people, but I saw that person going and touching the people with a rod that is burning like a light, like flame of fire. At any time it touched, that thing is broken and the person has, it might not be dramatic. But if you feel that lightness, just move forward. Uh, I'm not just calling people, just move forward. Don't let anybody force you to do that. If it's one person, two people, I will still pray for that person. Some chains have been broken. Some jokes have been taken. Thank you. Oh Lord, this fire This one you touch in the lip, the tongue. You touch your tongue. Feel some burning sensation on your tongue. Father. I thank you for these ones. Your grace, your favor, your freedom has come upon them. Your fire will burn every chaff. Your grace will be upon you to fulfill you go. Your spirit will fulfill. Your hand shall be loosened and the grace of God shall be upon you. The answer has come. Receive it. Lady, I've heard it. Fear not. It is done. Go. Woman, the warfare will end today. Who are you, this mountain, before this woman? Thank you. Go. It shall be well. O oh Lord, fulfill. 
grace and turn this one. Gentlemen, you shall be woman. The fire of the Lord shall be your portion. Now, give me a song. The first group is coming. Give me a song close. Give me. There is only one name. There is only one name. With power to save.
young men, young women, the Spirit of the Lord coming upon them with might and strength to fulfill a destiny. As we're singing, God's Spirit came upon them. I just want to take a song, maybe five minutes. Praises went up. I saw people being torn loose. And I saw delay. Things that have delayed in people's life. Speed came. And a sign of it is that you see people running here Jesus. with speed. As we sing, take it now.
what's in your life on digital very soon. It's a quick oh, stop, oh, stop. You're a fool, and I want to stop here. That's what I want to do. I see God's spirit moving upon me. Spirit of grace speed to fulfill yes thank you now whatever is holding you I've seen that you are taking a leap a jump a run all the steps you have lost you are recovering them there's recovering coming just up there take it you want that miracle you want a touch? You want that thing to happen to you? At the top there, I see a cloud. Bring her. Falling upon me. One, two, three. Thank you. One of you, just like ice water is being, it's a ice water. So my ice being put upon. You are feeling very cold immediately. Just walk forward there. The time I've seen barrenness being healed. Barrenness in every area of life. You will sow and you will reap a hundredfold. Just a minute. Just a minute. Why is that crying within? The Lord said, I have not forsaken you. I have remembered you. Receive all. Receive. My will shall be revealed unto you. My purpose shall be revealed unto you. You will no longer walk in darkness. You will walk in clarity of God's voice. What is in you? What is in you? Is going to manifest. And no one can stop it. No one can keep it. And there's going to be spiritual gifts. And eyes shall be open. Ears shall open. And tongue shall be loosened to speak of.
just be quiet. There is an outpouring, a rain that is falling, and it's changing lives. It's turning life around. Any heart that is of faith will receive it. Anyone that desire will have it. Work your work among us. Anyone whose heart is open with faith shall feel my touch. Your time and season has come. And I will give you double for every single problem. My time to reward you is now. A time of testimony is now. A time to speak in your life is now. And a time to pour out my grace upon you is now. A time to turn your life around is now. A time to overcome that enemy is now. For strength is given. Favor is given. It shall be so. According to my word. I see giant. Being raised. Coming out little. But becoming a giant before the situation. Not only for yourself. But a giant. To conquer other people's situation for them. Thank you. Our Heavenly Father, you can now give me your song.
save somebody's hand. Right now as we start, the hand will be itching inside of the palm. If it happened, come here. Briefly. of people all of you here some have been struggling whatever battles you fight you lose it and they say an itching of the hand to succeed and God said anoint those hands that whatsoever fight against that hand fight against my my own hand I didn't tell you so that some of you will rush without the itching. I wanted to finish the anointing before I tell you the meaning. <laughs> Second category. The hands were anointed to subdue your enemy. There was a sign. I said, I don't have the strength to subdue this enemy. God said, come, I will give you that anointing to subdue it. So he put that itching in your hands. I know some few stood there. 
and we're debating. But I wanted to find the anointing before I say what I'm saying. So that you can act in faith. So those who came were the one who acted in faith. But taking the people to battle, he said, those who will squat and put it and drink. So you were qualified. Amen. Are you coming or you you heard me before you came or was she here before I said it? Okay. I'll close very soon. Should I close? Oh, let me close. I'll close soon. I still saw about somebody. I think they're about two or three. And as we're singing, I saw them crawling and coming forward here. Ushers, don't trouble them. Let them crawl from where they are to this place. I know why. When I finish, I will tell them so that people doesn't join
free. That I saw crawling on their knees. And as we bowed our head before we close, I believe there will be. If they come, I'll pray for them. If they stay, I will close. We can't waste our time on them. Isn't it? Good. We all just quiet. three of them don't help anybody let them come by themselves so about three Remain the third one. I'm always very patient in the spirit. Don't help anybody. Don't help anybody. Help is coming. Help is coming. Help is coming. Let's put it put him here. Help is coming. The Lord is going to quicken your speed. And on your knees, I will do great things. The knees that brought you to this place is like a prayer. And this kind of prayer will be answered. And yea, I will stretch forth my strength and I will strengthen that weakness. And from here, thy feet shall be strengthened. Thy knees shall be strengthened and thy feet shall run. Your time and season has come. Whatsoever cripple your life, has been destroyed. From now, you shall no longer crawl. You shall run.
it is your answer that I saw that gentleman running. That yes, they crawl, but this is how they are going to run. Yes, they are crawling in life, but their speed will be like the gentleman that ran over there to this place. Arise now. This knees is strengthened against any enemy that faces you. Prophetically, this knees are strengthened against every enemy that faces thee. Prophetically, this knees are strengthened. Your enemy cannot bring you down. For your enemy shall bow before you and crawl before you like this. Says the Lord. We will be closing. Why am I you?
you close. I'm torn in between two. To anoint you. Or to close now. Are you sure? opportunity first. Anytime there is an, a movement, I want to give people opportunity to sow into it. Are you getting me? Um, I'd like you to give those who can give thousand, just come forward here for. Give me an envelope. Just walk quickly. I'm not going to take much time. You can take double, you can take some for your decent. But I'm can you help me?
yourself
Gaham Forest. I wanted to take it. Okay, I'm back. Sure. I don't know yet. I'm not double. Because of your time, that is why when I get to a place and the time is up very soon, I'm using, I want to use about 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, ah, uh, don't rush. I'm going to start from the front. I'll finish the front line. So the next line, say, so, woman, you know, here we are. Now I'm going Have I taken the offering? And think the offering first. Then I'll do this last, isn't it? Isn't it? Yes. Give me Now my my bra. Now my pong. The mum mum pa is a member. Mum mum teach you. Mum mum pa pa. You are praying. I've seen somebody. Okay, let me take the offering. But it's very sacred. And our Heavenly Father, we thank you for your grace. We thank you, O oh God, that we are prisoners of hope. Lord, we come close to you and we cry unto you. And you're going to give us double for every trouble. I pray that people will not live here the same. That anything the devil bring any situation on their life, there will be a double reward for them. Amen. In the name of Jesus. We bless this offering. Let it be a sincere offering from their heart. And bless them in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. Okay.
Are you a pastor? Are you a pastor? Are you a pastor? I should place your hand. I'm seeing children. How many of you want children? You want a child. Not money child. <laughs> Woman, I'm not giving you plenty of children because you didn't ask. How many children do you have? Huh? You don't have. You want some? Your husband has laid the hands. So I, I shouldn't give all to the people. Okay. Two of you, take it. Take it. Be fruitful. And multiply. It's okay. Have you finished the offering? Okay, then come out. Misuba no. Jamia may yes and man. Amen. Now give me that song.
welcome. We must close. We must close. Wait, wait, wait. To be continued next Sunday. Hallelujah. Ah, upo Yeshu Muja. Now, Oja Bok Panchak 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 Panchak. Sunday service. We'll put all Sunday protocols aside and continue. I believe that God wants to do more. God bless you. Let's share the grace, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forever. God bless you. Jesus, 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 my healer, my
my comforter. 